Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Given God all the glory, my name is Anthony Daniels, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. The work today, we are coming out of the book of Mark, the 13th chapter and the 26th verse. Mark 13 and 26, and it reads out of the King James Version. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. Again, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in cloud with great power and glory. <clears throat> now this, this is a pretty simple verse. I mean, it, it says one thing. That we will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. These are the words of Jesus Christ. And he's talking about the end of the world. The end, of, the end days. And all the things and all the tribulation... The moon should not be given light. The stars of heaven should fall. You know, the, all the powers in heaven will be shaken. I mean, there'll be all kind of bad things going on. There'll be pro false prophets. You know, it, uh, and there'll, there'll be, you know, just anything negative that you can think of will be going on. Anything. And it says that we shall see coming in the clouds. The Son of Man, our Jesus Christ, our Father. Now, <clears throat> that just gives us something to look forward to, something to be excited about. That we know, you know whether, whether we are alive during the end times or not, we know that Jesus Christ is coming back to earth. And no matter what we're going through now, Jesus Christ is coming back to earth. Doesn't matter what is happening to us, Jesus Christ is coming back to the earth. And he's going to be in great clouds with great power and glory. And here's the thing if, if you're alive, if we're alive during this time, it doesn't matter where we are, we're going to see him coming in the clouds. It's not like you're going to be, he, he's, they don't only see him in Europe. They're going to see him in Europe, they're going to see him in Russia, they're going to see him in the Middle East. They're going to see him in, in America. They're going to see him in, in, in South America. They're going to see him in Australia. I mean, it, he, everybody's going to see him. Everybody's going to see him. See, this is a worldly guy. This is a worldly guy. He's not coming to judge some of the people. He's, ju he's coming to judge all of us. And as we walk in our daily life, if, if we try to figure out what we need to focus on, and what we need, to, what we need to, to, to encourage us to every day walk the way Christ wants us to walk, you can use this verse. And they shall see the Son of Man come in the clouds with great power and glory. He's coming. And that's what we're getting prepared for. That's what we're getting prepared for. We're, we're, being, we're preparing ourselves for the coming of Jesus Christ. In the clouds with great power and glory, and I say it, it, it's a simple verse. It's a simple verse, but it means so much to everything that goes on, to everything that we do. We're doing it because Jesus Christ is coming back. We're doing it because He died on the cross. He was resurrected. He went back to the Father, and He's coming back. What is He coming back for? He's coming back to give us eternal life. And he's also come back to, to issue eternal death to those who are not worthy or deserving of eternal life. And I'm going to say, oh, you can't be worthy, you can't. But we are worthy because God has given us the gift of sanctification. See, <clears throat> we don't deserve God's grace and mercy in our lives, but he's given it to us. So now that he's given us that gift, we have to make ourselves worthy of having received it. We have to make ourselves worthy of having received it. You can't just receive God's gift of sanctification. You can't receive his grace and his mercy in your life and just keep living the way you live. Because then you, you are not worthy of the gift. And you're not worthy of going to heaven. You know, the, it, it's always been said and it's, and it's true. We don't deserve. There's nothing we can do to earn 
what God gives to us. But once he gives it to us, there's, there's an expectation of change in your life. Because Jesus Christ is coming back in the clouds with great power and glory. And when he comes, you have got to be worthy to be in his presence. And if you are not, you will not have eternal life with him. So we have to be worthy. We can't just live the way we want to live once we've received his gift. We've got, we've got to allow his gift to operate in our lives. And see, God is not going to force us to comply with his word and what he wants and his desires for our life. But he can, he's going to encourage us to do it. And when we accept that encouragement, he's going to strengthen us to do it. And he's also going to purpose us to do it. Provide us what we need to do it. And everything that we do revolves around this verse. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that day. I hope you are too. <clears throat> That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great day.